Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, another Frulici Friday. How is everybody doing? Sorry, I know I'm a couple minutes late here popping on, had some technical difficulties, but all is good now. I don't know, snow? I'm not sure really, Mel, there's, there's snow. Snow is coming. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to play in the craft room. We're not going to worry about what the weather is like outside. We have got some awesome treats, awesome fun stuff to play with today. Hello, Miss Tracy. Welcome, welcome. So let me tell you, we are going to play with, this is the So Sincere stamp set. Cheryl, hello, welcome, welcome. So... <clears throat> awesome stamp set some great sentiments in here i have to read them all to you you can see there are a bunch of them it looks like there are 11 of them all together in the stamp set so we've got you're in my heart and prayers just for you so very proud of you and then there's a vertical happy birthday which is kind of a cool one bonnie hello and welcome thank you for the welcome back i'm glad to be back finally um getting into a routine again which you know i don't know i think um yeah, I, I like a routine. So I was feeling a little out of sorts. I was loving like being all over the place, doing all this fun stuff, but it is good to be back and have the routine. Although Cheryl, not enjoying the snow at all. Well, I mean, it's fine right now, but I have to drive down to Detroit later and I'm not looking forward to that. So if you could just make the snow stop, I think you're further south of me, right? So just send it further north. No more snow for us here in like middle and lower Michigan, please. That's my request for later on today, right? Get it all cleared out, would ya? Hello, Miss Kathy and welcome. Okay, so yes, more sentiments we've got. Hope you're feeling better soon so thankful for you. Hope your day is a happy one. Your kindness is so appreciated. Be grateful for what you have. Be proud of who you are. That's an awesome sentiment, right? Just love spending time with you and the font. Okay, I have to show you guys that in a sec. And then, and let's see, knowing you brings joy to my heart. This is the one that is my favorite right here with that mixed font. Again, this is the one that says, just love spending time with you. <laughs> Okay, awesome, Cheryl. I appreciate any help you can give me on that snow situation. That would be great. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. Okay, so then we are also, I paired that awesome stamp set, the So Sincere stamp set with, this is the Flowering Zinnias Designer Series Paper. These are both online exclusive only products. Hi, Susie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so you can only get these online. So you're like, because you might be thinking, where's that stamp set in the catalog? And where is this gorgeous designer series paper, right? So there's I, <laughs> one more piece. We're using this one today. It's actually part of our card that we're going to make. So, okay, here. So there, that's like one side, right, of the designer series paper. And then I'll flip it over. And let me get this fanned out a little bit more. And then here's the other side. So obviously lots of like fun, bright floral prints on one side. And then here's the other side. A little more uh, monochromatic. Brenda Aker, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, monochromatic patterns on the other side. And there's that. <laughs> the one other, the one little piece right there. But So I have mostly big pieces and then this one little teeny tiny piece left. Anyway, so beautiful paper. Again, the flowering zinnias. Zinnia, I like saying that, right? Deb, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, <clears throat> yes, beautiful designer series paper, only available online. So you're not gonna see it in any catalog. You're not gonna see that designer series paper or that So Sincere stamp set in the catalog, but just know it is available. They are doing more and more and more with these online exclusives. We learned at, on stage, I think it's... It's at least three, if not four times a year that they're going to have these releases. Hello, Sunday. Welcome, welcome um, of these online exclusive only products three or four times a year. So they're going to kind of just be putting some new stuff out there that won't be in print in the catalog. So you're not going to see it anywhere except online. So just go to stampinup.com, click on shop. I think it's there's something like what's new, new arrivals, some new something or other click on that and you'll be able to see all of the online exclusives that are available to uh, play with as well. 
and they've been doing a good job too. Um, you know, sometimes things are selling out. Actually, I think we used the Zinnia stamp set just a little bit on one of the make and takes. Well, I shouldn't say selling out. It's not available to order right now. I used some of the shiny sequins too. And then of course I looked at our inventory status report and then was like, oh, whoops, those aren't available to order just yet, but they'll come back in stock. Um, give it a couple weeks and these things will all be back in stock. So keep them on your wish list. Um, and yeah, I'll show you those in a little bit because you're probably like, what is she even talking about, right? Meanwhile, <laughs> sorry, I'm like, oh, I gotta stretch too. I'm so excited to show you guys all this fun stuff from on stage. We had such a great time. So my Inkspired Stampers team members, we had my good friend, Stacy Decker. Hello, Vina. Um, so she's my roommate from way back in the day when we lived together in Chicago. And then Sharon Greening, who is another one of our Inkspired Stampers team members, a local friend right here in Alma. And then Jenny Bachman, who is part of Sharon's downline. She is just down the road in Breckenridge, um, Michigan, not Colorado. <laughs> uh, hi, Debbie. Hello. And I'm trying to see what did. Yes, great day for crafting. You're right, Vina. It's the perfect day, right? Be inside, stuck inside in your craft room. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Just play with all your pretty stuff, right? That's what we're going to do right here. So I want to show you guys, though, I've got so much to share with you from on stage. And I am... Um, kind of bouncing off the walls as usual. What's new though, right? I think I'm always a little bit bouncing off the walls. Um, but okay, so let's see. We're gonna put this here, you know, always trying to kind of stay organized. We're gonna put that goes there. Okay, so I have shown you guys, sorry, I know I'm like off camera here. <clears throat> And I'm not even going to get into these too much because I did a whole of a video on the awesome bag. I kind of matched my bag today, right? Um, Betsy, hello in Maryland. Hello, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you found us on Facebook Live. So yeah, um, this is the backpack that we got um, from Stampin' Up. And then this is this cool kind of like organizer caddy tote thing. Um, I'm, I already did a video, so if you haven't seen it yet, scroll back a little bit right here on our Facebook group and you'll see all the fun features of the backpack and the little um, beautiful yellow organizer. Um, but I do want to, let's see, I, where is everything? I set up, yeah, okay, hold on. Let's bring this stuff over first. Okay, so yeah, so we got, thank you for the share too, Vina, I appreciate that. So what did we get? Oh, wait a minute, where are my, I gotta show you. I showed these pens because these were in our backpack, but here's a little sneak peek at our new in colors. You guys, if you haven't seen, they're like, I keep saying sorbet, like I wanna like eat ice cream or sorbet in these colors, right? Now don't ask me, um, cause I don't know if I can, yeah, let's see. Well, can I do it? There's like Petunia Pop, Summer Splash, Shy Shamrock, Peach Pie, and then this one I think is pretty in pink. So these are these are not quite the colors, I would say. Did I bring, I had the cardstock. Did I leave that at the, hmm. Oh no, it's probably in here. Oh yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, this is a better representation of our new in colors. Let me just pull. So we got this pack of cardstock with, um, so Stacy and I did, uh, what did they call it? On, on stage after hours. So it was basically like a crafting night. It was Thursday night, the first night that we got there and we did some crafting. And so basically we had like other make and takes. Um, so we got this pack of cardstock. So this is the Petunia Pop color. This is the pretty in pink color. So this is actually, and I did, I found my first catalog from 2007, and this pretty in pink color is a returning color. So this is one that we have had in the past. And I wanna say, so it's kind of like Blushing Bride, but not as dusty. Um, it's more of maybe like just a true pink. I always felt like uh, Blushing Bride was a little bit more of a dusty pink. And I think this one was called Summer Splash. Pretty similar to Coastal Cabana, I would say. And then the Peach Pie, I can't believe I'm actually like kind of knowing these colors. And then Shy Shamrock. I guess I've been talking about them a little bit. But here, so there's kind of a little, um, gives you a little array of the colors. So I would say they tried. <laughs> they tried to make those pens in the in colors, but you know, not quite. 
So these are truly our brand new in colors. So starting, when are those going to be starting? Well, May 1st, um, you'll be able to order these new in colors. I will be doing an in color club, so I'll be telling you more about that. But if you want to get all of these colors and cardstock and ink pads and ink refills and markers and blends and ribbon, the ribbon is so cool. We got to touch it and feel it. They had these beautiful displays. If you haven't had a chance, scroll back through this group right here. And I've got lots of awesome posts of all of our time at OnStage. So you can see sneak peek of the designer series paper. They have these huge walls with like all the designer series paper laid out on them so I took a picture of that got a picture they had another huge wall of like swags of ribbon beautiful like you could touch it and feel it and play with it and our new in color ribbon is awesome it's going to be so easy to work with uh, you know sometimes it's a little bit more coarse or hard to like tie bows with but this ribbon is beautiful there's a new beige maybe it's basic beige i can't remember exactly but it's kind of a lighter shade of very vanilla i guess beige right lighter than crumb cake and it also comes in ribbon same as our in color ribbons beautiful ribbon also um let's see what else do i want to show you guys <clears throat> okay that 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 oh okay i got some in color gems these are the 2024 2026 in color shimmer gems right here actually we're gonna have to open them up so you guys can see these right so these were part of our crafting after hours experience. Oh yeah, because we didn't, you couldn't see the petunia pop. Plus when they're in the package, it's a little bit harder to see. So you can see I used a couple of them on my projects that I made that night. I will show you, we actually, hmm, where are those projects? I'll find them. There, I've got lots of piles of stuff. So it might not be all in the order that I um, was mentioning but i will definitely show you guys these things here is another little fun thing that we got to make again featuring all of our new in colors oh yeah and this is going to be good yeah so summer splash shy shamrock pretty in pink petunia pop and peach pie yeah so those are all of our new um in colors and that's going to help me with the names right on there but i have them i think i'm good already i think i've got them we also got, as part of our crafting experience that night, we got a bundle. So this is the brand new Country Flowers stamp set. And then there is a set of dies. Maybe I'll flip them that way. Can you guys see them there? So an awesome set of dies that coordinate with the Country Flowers stamp set. Sentiments include with heartfelt sympathy. There's one, a cute little one that says flower market. Best friend ever. Ending Oh, I, we popped out for a sec, but it says we're reconnected. So, okay, that's good. So awesome new stamp set. This is going to be available in our next annual catalog. So that annual catalog will go live on May 1st. I'm sure you're seeing lots and lots of sneak peeks of things. So you're getting super excited about all of our new stuff. Um, just know, I mean, you can't order quite yet. If you sign up to get the starter kit, you can pre-order with all of us as demonstrators starting, I think it's April 1st, we can pre-order. And actually, if you went to on stage, so um, like I did, um, we got to participate in the PPP, the product purchase premiere. Um, and so we were able to basically order anything that's going to be available in the pre-order on April 1st. If you went to OnStage, you get to order even earlier. Um, so you're probably seeing lots of people that have already gotten their stuff. They expedited their orders, showing you all the goodies. I only have what I got from OnStage. My order is in and it's on its way. I am going to do Facebook Live next Friday. So fingers crossed. I'm really hoping that I get my order by next Friday so um, I can show you some more of the fun new stuff that we got or that will that we will be getting that will be available in our next annual catalog but again you can't order it um you know until may 1st again unless you get the starter kit then you can order this stuff in the starter kit um so it's one of those like i kind of almost hesitate to show all this stuff um because you can't get it yet but why not right get excited about the new things including i actually this was my um prize patrol the unbounded beauty designer series paper i'm gonna put my glasses on here so i can just read because i think we have yeah peach pie petunia pop pretty in pink shy shamrock and summer splash and then it also includes berry burst pretty peacock and calypso coral 
Um, <clears throat> so it includes all five of our new ink colors. So I'm gonna flash these pieces up for you. So there's one, okay? And then this is the back side of that one. There's that, um, what do I wanna say? That's gonna be Summer Splash, right? Here's another one with Summer Splash and Petunia Pop. Ooh, I'm like really excited that I'm getting these names down. Okay, here's another one. That's gonna be, I'm gonna say pretty in pink. And then here's a pretty floral backside there, right? We've got, this one is probably, what is that gonna be? Peach, peach pie, right? And then Summer Splash on that one. I'm looking at them backwards, so that's why I keep hesitating. Um, this one gonna, is gonna be Petunia Pop. And then back side of that one is, I'm gonna say, Pretty in Pink, Petunia Pop, and Peach Pie. <clears throat> and then lastly, what are, ooh, this is, these are just gorgeous, aren't they? I opened this up and shared it um, at our team meeting and barely took a look at it, but now I'm really looking at it and I'm loving it. I got really lucky. I got, I want some good designer series paper here, I'd say. Um, okay, so let's see. Scoot all of this out of the way. What else do I want to show you guys? Oh, we actually had um, some, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, I was going to set that down. Sorry, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Um, and then I realized I didn't want to put it there. I need to put it over here because I got to take it with me later. And yeah, and then my back kind of went out. That's why I made that funny face and that funny noise. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are getting way more. Yes, this is what I was hoping. So um, here are the projects that we made on Thursday night with the new ink colors. Okay, so this is Shy Shamrock, just in time for um, St. Patrick's Day last weekend, right? This is gonna be Petunia Pop, and that is actually Lemon Lime Twist there. So we did some... Um, sponge daubering, I'm going to say. And then this one is pretty in pink with more um, lemon lime twist and some twine on that one. And then this one features peach pie, shy shamrock. I think that's more peach pie. And then that is our pecan pie. So we have peach pie and pecan pie, right? Nice, right? Um, and some more twine on that one. Then we also, this was a make and take that we got. They are doing more. They're trying to I think kind of simplify things. So they're doing a lot with card kits. Um, so for example, this is the little envelope and then the beautiful printed card. I think it's just plain on the inside. Yeah, so this is this is like a you know note card and envelope, or maybe it's a full size card, but very pretty, right? Um, and then an Ephema pack. So they give you kind of die cuts and sentiment. Well, actually we stamped that sentiment now that I think about that. Um, but that little label, and then we stamped that sentiment right on there and then kind of layered things. Um, so they're definitely trying to do more of that. What is Bonnie saying? Love the new colors in your cards. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. I know, me too. I've really enjoyed everything that we made and got to play with. And then we also had the next day make and takes. They gave us a kit. You can see um, I haven't opened mine up yet, but this one is called the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. And can you see, so it's got those fun, you know, like when you open your, get the glare out of there. When you open your card up, it'll have like this fun little burn, uh, balloon or sunburst popping out there. Here is kind of the backside you can see. So going to have some fun playing with this card kit too, I would say. And then these are probably, yeah, let's see. These are going to be in a little <clears throat> sunburst kind of things. Let me open these up. I want to see. Yeah, so this is going to be like the balloon. Okay, so can you see? <laughs> and I'm sure so there's adhesive on either side here. So once I get it, oh my goodness, they're not going to make this easy on me, are they? Opening this thing. So yeah, I'm trying not to like, it's, it's delicate-ish, right? Okay. So there, you can kind of see, isn't that cute? So won't that be so fun when you open your card and that cute little balloon pops open there too? Oh my gosh, what a cute card kit. And you guys know this too, right? They are coming out with two new kits every single month. So again, they're definitely trying to stampin' up when I say they um, are trying to appeal to kind of new crafters, people that don't have anything or very much yet. You can get this cute little card kit. This is the one that I just showed you. Comes in this box 
all ready to go. So you can even, um, you know, kind of store your cards right in here too, right? So again, this one was called the Hooray for Honeycomb kits. Um, so keep an eye out for that. So in addition to online exclusives, these kits are all um, on stampinup.com. Also click on shop, click on new arrivals. You're going to see all of the new online or all of our online exclusives, anything that's still available. They really started um, launching these, I would say about a year ago. And so there's still stuff on there from a year ago. Also like that Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper was one of the first ones. Um, so it get, it's like the hot new item. A lot of times they sell super quickly. You see everybody using them, playing with them. Then they maybe aren't available for a little while and then they get stuff back in stock. So just know that if there's something that you fall in love with, you're going to be able to get it. It just might take a little bit of time. So anyway, but the card kits too, but I believe, I, I don't know for sure, but um, the card kits I think are while supplies last. Really the online exclusive stuff is too, but it seems like they're, they order a few batches of it, I guess. So even if it's not <clears throat> available for a bit, it probably will come back and be available. Um, the other cool thing is we got this color wheel too. So these are all of our Stampin' Up! colors. Um, and I have yet to really use this. But the other cool thing is, I will tell you, this color wheel is going to be in our next annual catalog. One of the very last pages in the catalog includes this color wheel. So because somebody was asking, are they going to send those out to all demonstrators? I'm like, you know, probably not. This was a perk for uh, going to onstage, um, basically. Um, but yeah, gonna have some fun with the, with that color wheel too. Um, okay. So let's see what else, what else, what else? Yeah. Oh, okay. So kind of moving on from on stage, don't forget. So all the new stuff is coming, which means there's lots of stuff that's retiring. So we have our last chance product list. So keep this in mind. Got, a, mm, I'm like a page and a tiny bit more, um, right? This is the whole list of things that are retiring in the spring mini catalog. And then this is like four and a half pages of things that are retiring in our annual catalog. So lots of stuff retiring. It's funny because it seemed like when I went through the mini catalog, a lot of things are carrying over. So the bundles are not, that's typically how they do things, right? Is there might be a stamp set and dies or a stamp set and a punch. And then there's the bundle where you get 10% off the combination of both of those. So in a lot of cases in the spring mini catalog, the bundle is retiring. So that 10% savings is going away, but the stamp set and dies or stamp set and punch are carrying over into our next annual catalog. The annual catalog, on the other hand, there's a lot that's retiring. So just keep that in mind. Just know um, they did announce, I think starting April 9th, you'll be able to get lots of discounts, um, things discounted up to 60% off um, in our annual and mini catalog, but it doesn't start until April 9th. So we have the rest of March and the first eight days in April that things won't be discounted. Um, I guess I just say, um, if there's something that you know that you are absolutely going to be so sad that you did not get, I would order it now. Don't maybe wait um, and take your chances of not being able to get it because you want the discount. Um, if there's something that you're like, oh, it's okay either way if I don't get it, um, but I want to wait for the discount, then wait. Um, but know that everything is all available while supplies last now. So you can, again, go to stampinup.com and there's a button you can click on for last chance products and they'll give you pictures of every single thing that is retiring out of our um, annual and mini catalog, like the in colors, 2022, 2024 in colors. So these colors are going away. You know, there's a chance maybe someday they'll come back, but for now they're gonna be gone. So Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, and Tahitian Tide. These are the five colors that are out of here. So if you need card stock, if you need ink refills, you've invested in your ink pads, you don't have ink refills, make sure you get those. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else. If you didn't get your markers or your blends or you need some more ribbon, gems, pearls, any of that stuff, make sure you get it while you can because again, those colors will be heading out of here soon. Okay. Um, let's see what else, what else? Okay. Cause I jumped around. I always have to like make sure I'm on track here. Okay. Yeah. I think we're good. I'm just making a big old mess here, but 
what do we call this? Craft, craft, craft. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember what, what it's called. You know, when you make a mess in your craft room, craft oh something or other, but I can't remember now. So I want to show you guys some cute cards that I have received. So this card, actually, I think I showed last time, but Sharon told me. So this was a card that um, my team member Sharon Greening made with the beautiful, that was that softly stippled designer series paper. Um, but look at what I didn't do was open up her. This was her swap card from last month. And it's got that cute little pop-up sentiment so love that right so I had to show you guys that too so it looks like I don't know if you guys can see so she just put like a piece of kind of it's almost like a rectangular piece of cardstock but then she adhered it to the um, front flap of the card too so it kind of opens and closes there so had to show you guys that and then Miss Teresa is always so good about sending, making and sending cards. So, and I asked her, are you Irish? Because I think she's sent um, uh, St. Patrick's Day cards for the past couple of years. So I love that because her, her last name is Hinchman. And so I don't know, it doesn't sound Irish. I guess, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I asked him like, are you Irish? And she said, yes, I am. You know, that her last name doesn't necessarily reflect it any longer because it's her married name, but she's definitely Irish. And so she loves to make and send St. Patrick's Day cards. So love that. Super cute, right? The little good luck with the little shamrock on there. And then the four leaf clover with the happy St. Patrick's Day on the inside there. So thank you, Miss Teresa. And then my good friend Jennifer Bradley, who we do craft orama with, sent this card. So Jennifer, thank you. The little, the cute little cow, right? And this one says, what's moo with you? <laughs> right? So cute. Right, right, right. Oh, and then it's a little fun fold there too, right? Oh, and it, what is it? It has like the little baby chickadee on the inside there. So isn't that so cute? So thank you, Miss Jennifer. And then Susan, I think, are you watching right now? I, I'm trying to remember if your name popped up. I think it did. Um, but Miss Susan Walker sent this beautiful. This is part of that Hello Irresistible suite that I was talking about. That's one of our online exclusives from like last year, I'm pretty sure. She sent this beautiful hello card to me um, when she sent her payment for the one day retreat. So thank you very much for all these beautiful cards, ladies. I love receiving your handmade cards in the mail. All right, scooting that out of the way. And I moved my list, so now I'm like <clears throat> way off track. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so just a couple of quick reminders. We have our next one day crafting retreat. Speaking of that, that Susan is coming up to see me from Clarkston for the one day retreat. So this next retreat right here in Alma is on Saturday, April 20th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. RSVP and payment are due by Monday, April 1st, which March is like completely flown by. So before you know it, Monday, April 1st is going to be here. I think it's a week from this Monday, actually. So you have about 10 days. If you're still thinking about the one day retreat, come on up, hang out with us. We love this day. Got lots of room at the church. So we hold this event at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma, where I hold all of my events. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so love to have you join us. It's $64 for the day. You get a six foot table. You get a goodie bag filled with uh, $30 in product you get lunch and dinner and snacks all night all day and all night we do make and takes I make cute treats for you the list goes on and on and on there's buy one get one free sale that day so much good stuff right okay so love to have you join us and then also bingo um let's see I rescheduled I think we're going to do it back in February and I had a reschedule bingo so it's going to be on what is my day yeah, well, all of a sudden I'm like, I was questioning. It's Wednesday, April 10th. RSVP and payment are due for bingo also on Monday, April 1st. But we play bingo and we have stamping and you get a cute little goodie bag um, or a little... Um, swag right for um just for coming to bingo right and i'm actually able i used part of my pre-order to get some new stuff for bingo also so super excited about that that it will actually be giving away some prizes out of the next annual catalog before you can even order them ladies so how about that right um okay what else what else i think 
we're ready to do our first drawing. So we are drawing today. These are the 2022-2024 in color pearls. So again, these are all the colors that are retiring. These pearls are retiring. So if you love these, make sure you get them while you still can, right? Um, your name is in the drawing. Here I have to I have to refer to my list because we have lots and lots of ways of getting your name in the drawing. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, to your personal profile, one entry in the drawing. If you share it to a crafting group you're a part of, five entries in the drawing. If you share my latest class to go kit post, you get an entry in the drawing. I pick one random post right here to our Facebook group. And if you commented on that random post that I picked, your name is in the drawing. If you share a project, a picture of a project that you've made right here to our Facebook group, your name is in the drawing. Or if you are sign up for my email list, your name is in the drawing. So, okay. We have lots of entries in here. One lucky winner will receive these in color pearls, the retiring in color pearls. And it is Miss Sabina Miller. All right, congratulations, Sabina. You are the winner of these in color pearls. So I will put them out on the porch for you, for you to pick up. Okay, put those right there so I don't lose them. Then, okay, on our next Facebook Live, we are going to be giving away, these are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foiled Gems. So they're beautiful, sparkly. They've kind of got some little gold flecks in them. And these are actually carrying over too. So that's very exciting that these will be around and available to still play with because they are gorgeous. These especially, I, I looked... I look at these and I think they're going to be great for holiday projects too. So that'll be fun. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, which we're actually going to do next Friday. So since I was gone and couldn't do Facebook Live for so many weeks in a row, I'm doing two weeks in a row. So I know that's like crazy and who's going to even remember that I'm doing it next week, but hopefully you will. So join me and we'll draw for those little foiled gems on our next Facebook Live. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that ready for the next drawing? Okay, um, oh, what else? I have more fun stuff to show you guys from our meeting. We just had our Inkspired Stampers team meeting on Tuesday this week, which was perfect because we'd just gotten back from on stage and everyone was all super excited about everything that we saw and learned and they shared it with everybody else in our group, which was tons and tons of fun. Um, so I want to show you guys um, the make and takes and swaps and $600 club prize and mystery project all from our team meeting. And in addition, I want to congratulate Miss Jennifer Ledley on her promotion to Bronze Elite. She's one of our Inspired Stampers team members. She lives down in Ohio. She's a school teacher, so she's probably on spring break or maybe at school teaching right now. Um, but she promoted to Bronze Elite, which is when you get to $1,800 in sales through Stampin' Up as a demonstrator, you get a 25% discount on all of your orders. So it goes from 20% when you first start to 25% when you promote to Bronze Elite. So congratulations to Miss Jenny. And okay, so let me show you guys. <coughs> you know what? I thought I brought my water bottle in here and apparently I did not. So I'm gonna go run and grab that because I'm getting a little tickle in my throat and I don't wanna have a problem on Facebook Live. So give me one sec, I'm gonna go run and grab that super quick. Okay, thank you for that, ladies. I, w I was talking and I keep getting this catch in my throat and I'm like, oh no, where is my water? Mm. Okay, so that will be helpful. Okay, so let's see. What I, I'm going to show you the mystery project first. So the idea behind the mystery project, hello, Miss Charlene. She knows all about the mystery project because she was at our team meeting the other night. So basically, I give dimensions. Um, so cardstock, designer series, paper, everything that you need to make the card, but I don't actually show you the card. And then it's one of those, oh, the mystery is solved. So this is what I was thinking of when I gave you all those measurements. People, um, my team members come to the meeting or on the Facebook Live, they kind of cut and prep everything and then put their card together um, as I'm putting my card together. And we always like kind of jokingly say, 
the mystery is solved, right? So this was our mystery project. So can you see it's, it is basically like a full card front and then it's just scored a couple of times. So it kind of folds back in like a Z flap. And then you've got the designer series paper on either side. So isn't that so pretty? And then here's another one. I actually just flipped the paper over. So this is the back side of that flowering Zinnia's designer series paper. And I use that awesome stamp set that we are using on our make and takes too that says, I wish I could make this better. Thinking of you, praying for you, hoping with you. So fun card there, right? We also had make and takes featuring the Zinnia bundle. So we got this beautiful, thank you so much. And this is just um, cut that flower is cut right out of the designer series paper as is that flower and then mounted on another circle right there and then this one we did some coloring isn't that beautiful with that the zinnia stamp set and just the paper is i mean the paper makes absolutely beautiful cards all on its own too um, I love to send, um, actually, <laughs> so I sent um, my top five sellers the card that we're going to make on Facebook Live. I was like, hey, this is, I'm like feeling all like proud of myself, like multi-use of my cards, right? So not only is it the card that we're going to make on Facebook Live, I also sent it to my top five sellers. Um, so you'll see that in just a few minutes. In addition, anyone that sold over $600 makes it into my $600 club. Hello, Miss Linda, and receives a fun embellishment from me. So this month I sent the iridescent foil gems as a congratulations for making it into the $600 club in their top five sales card um, as well. So love to spoil my team members and say congratulations on a job well done. And I do that every single month. Um, and then we have swaps. So these are cards that um, anybody in our Inkspired Stampers team makes, and then um, we swap, we share them at the meeting. So actually, this is one that Teresa made, and I have to show you guys, because there is the little Easter bunny, but the cool thing is it's like one of these kind of, there you go, so you can kind of see how it stands up right, on its own, so isn't that so cute, right, and it, um, what is this, like an easel card, and it just says Happy Easter on there, right, um, and so Teresa actually is long distance, she's not local here, so she makes these and then mails them to me each month, and then I swap them, trade them around for her, and send them back to her, so even if you're long distance, you can participate in make and takes, and swapping, and the mystery project, you can do it all with us too. This is Miss Charlene's Easter card too, super cute. And I have to show you guys um, because she posted this online and I didn't realize she's got a fun little dealio on her card too, if I can, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so here's her card, right? And then can you see there's actually a window sheet there? So there's this there, there we go, okay? So there's that, and then there's that, and then there's that, and then you could stamp on the inside also. So isn't that so cool, right? I just think that's so fun to use that window sheet. Um, and then she put cardstock and the cute little egg on there also. This one, let's see, what do we have? This is a Father's Day card. And this one, oh, is from Nancy Gulick. Love this one too, this beautiful Happy Father's Day card. And then we've got this one is from Elsie Lynch, another beautiful Easter card. Love all the Easter projects, right? Then this one is from Miss Sunday Ostrander. So cute, huh? That fun little toucan that she colored. Um, the Jungle Pals, it looks like. And then is this one? Oh, let's see. I think this is from Carla. Um, she, yeah, because she gave us two projects because she was not able to make swaps last month. So she's got the Zinnia Designer Series paper too. So she made that one. And then this one as well with that beautiful foil, that beautiful gold foil. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's embossed. I don't know if you can see that too. She embossed the card front. Um, yeah. And then added the foil on there too. And then this one I believe is, is from Jenny Boffman. Um, I don't have a name on that one, but I was kind of doing process of illumination and I'm pretty sure that that's going to be Jenny's card with the cute little telephone there. Yes, they're beautiful cards, aren't they, Miss Deb? I love them too. Okay. Let's see. I think, yeah, we are ready to, <clears throat> let's see. 
we're going to do our next drawing, okay? So this drawing is for the Excellent Eggs stamp set, just in time for Easter, right? So we've got Thinking of You, Happy Easter, Hello Spring, and There's No Bunny Like You, and that cute little bunny. So there's a set of dies that will cut these things out, including that super duper cute little baby bunny right there. Um, so your name is in the drawing. If you ordered through me, spent at least $50 during our spring break special, right? So you also are going to get both of these cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live as a thank you. You also get the free embellishment for this month, which are the rainbow dots, as well as the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial featuring this beautiful card right here. And it gets even better. You also get five free handmade cards from me. So I kind of went crazy with that spring break special um, to say thank you for your orders, right? So we are going to draw now for this excellent eggs stamp set. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting like a little frog in my throat. <coughs> Get that out of there, huh? Nope. Oh, got a couple stuck together here. Okay, there we go. Got to make sure they're all separated out, right? Okay, so here we go. The lucky winner is, I have one in my hand, Miss Jennifer Tilton. All right, congratulations, Jennifer. You are the proud new owner of the Excellent Eggs stamp set. So I will put that out on the porch for you to pick up along with all of your other goodies. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um... Oh, okay, so on our next Facebook Live, again, that is going to be next Friday. So that is going to be, well, it's the 22nd and 7 is 29, right? So on the 29th of March, the last Friday in March, we will give away this awesome, this is my absolute favorite pack of designer series paper in our spring mini catalog. This is the lighter than air designer series paper. So if you order online through me, you're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a moment, and you're going to get your name in the drawing to win that designer series paper. And then you also always get to pick from the PDF tutorial, all 16 projects are in there, or the free embellishment, again, which are those rainbow adhesive backed dots. Okay. Um, all right. I think we are ready to flip the camera down. We're going to do some stamping with this fun, new, beautiful stuff, right? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, getting organized here. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. And can't wait for the day when that fan has to be on because it's warm outside, right? Oh, dreaming of that. Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming of that. Okay, so I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think you guys can see the edges, right, of this, right? You can, can you see my fingers? There, okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm in, I'm in view, but yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so which card are we gonna make first here? Let's see. All right, we're gonna make this one because I wanna show you, okay, I'll bring this over here. Well, I'm just so excited I have to show you this paper because <laughs> is, this is another, oops, that's my designer series paper. You've already seen that. Um, <clears throat> here's my project. This is the card that we're going to make and it features this glimmer paper. So this is old olive berry burst and white glimmer paper. Another online exclusive only product that you can get again online only but it is i mean check this out like those two colors right there the white is awesome we've had white before i don't know if we've ever had berry burst or old olive um but beautiful like i think you could have some fun with either of those colors really like during holiday time too so yeah oh my gosh i'm like already why am i getting excited about holidays that's like forever away i'm not rushing <laughs> summer that's a for sure right okay but i will tell you guys um always know that i will include the product codes the names measurements colors everything that we are using on this project so that you can order and recreate it will be on my blog this afternoon at gathering ink with a k so gathering inspiration.com okay all right so just so you know that right 
Okie dokie. <clears throat> so again, we are playing with the So Sincere stamp set. You guys can see, oops, that paper just flew off the table. Oh, well, that's all right. Okay. <clears throat> And we're also, because <laughs> I can't stop playing with them now that I found out, these dies, the Thoughtful Expressions dies, they're kind of a mess. Um, but they're retiring. I've really not even used, um, like, the stamp set. There is the Hummingbird right here. I have used some of these little leafy things. But I love these label dies, and I'm so sad. I think I've used them, like, every week on Facebook Live. Um, and I guess I'm glad I did because they're retiring. So this beautiful label and this cool kind of rectangular label, they're both retiring. So I'm going to pull these out because we're using these two or we're going to use right there on our project today, okay? Probably lose those before I even... <laughs> Hopefully not, but, <laughs> you know, it can happen around here. Okay. Um, okay, so here, let me give you measurements, right? You guys need to know measurements of everything, right? Okay, so we are going to start with, <clears throat> this is a Highland Heather card base, okay? So it's the standard, I guess if I were to hold it up right here, right? This is a regular piece of Highland Heather cardstock, okay? So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches and then a little bit different. Oh, <laughs> Linda, she's saying, it seems like the whole catalog. I know there's a lot in the annual catalog, but not so much in the mini catalog. So just keep that in mind. And then there's so much cute new stuff coming out, of course, in our next um, annual catalog. Okay, so then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at one and a half inches and at five and three quarters inches. Again, so one and a half and five and three quarters, okay? So we're going to flip that there and flip that there. And that's gonna be, oops, gonna go that way, like that, right? Then we've got this piece of designer series paper, again, from the flowering zinnias, two and a half by five and a quarter. And then I love that little plaid pattern backside, right, of that piece. This one measures one and one quarter by five and one quarter. And then we have a piece of basic white, the standard layer four by five and a quarter on the inside there, okay? I also have some pieces of the old olive glimmer paper and basic white cardstocks to do our stamping and die cutting. On the inside of the card too, and I kind of hesitate to show you because this is one that's not orderable just yet. It will be back in stock, I'm absolutely positive. So the Simply Zinnia stamp set, we use that stamp right there gorgeous. And then I also use this sending flowers and thinking of you on the inside of the card. So let's go ahead and do that stamping now. <clears throat> okay. Actually, here, let's keep this open so I know what I'm doing. I need a little scrap piece of paper. Actually, I'm not. Oh, because this is going to be my opportunity. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do, let's do this one first. I'm going to do our sentiment. Okay. I'm going to check and make sure I've got this going the right way. So sending flowers and thinking of you. Let me make sure I got that inked up enough. Okay. Press straight down, lift straight up. Now, what's on the outside? Let's do this. I'm going to stamp this one too. This hope your day is a happy one. Just going to stamp that right there. Love that, right? Beautiful. Hope your day is a happy one. And then, because I'm just so excited to use my chamois, because I haven't been using it very much, and I want to show you guys how kind of fun and easy it is to work with. So I was going to get some scrap paper because I'm stamping off the edge, right? But oh my gosh, I got ink on my, um, what is this thing called? I can't even remember now. Whatever, on my work surface. So let me get my... Handy, the Stampin' Glass Matte Studio. That's what this is. So I keep this right in here so it doesn't dry out. Oh my gosh, look at that. I just cleaned it right off. Isn't that so great? <laughs> Love this. So it's like a little mini, kind of a thinner chamois. So there's my pink ink. No big deal. It's all ready to go to clean more stuff whenever I'm ready to do that. I could probably clean my stamps with it too now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. Just gonna clean those right off. There we go. There's that one, right? And then we'll get clean that one and 
we're going to clean that one and you just rinse this and it'll be stained, but it's not going to be horrible. Oh my gosh. So great. I love that thing now. I don't know why I haven't used it more to be honest. Okay. So let's do our die cutting. We've got these little guys right here, right? Okay. All right. Crank that back there. This thing is going to go here. All right. So you know what? I am going to grab my scissors and we're going to trim this up a bit while I'm looking at this, right? So let's make sure we have a piece big enough. There we go. That'll be easier. So there, we're going to just put that one right on there. That one doesn't matter if it's lined up or not anywhere. It just needs to be on the paper, right? But this one, I want to make sure I have it lined up properly, okay? All right. I'm going to just crank this through our die cutting and embossing machine. And look at that beautiful glimmer paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you know what, Linda? I have not even looked to see if the, she's asking if the glass mat is in the new catalog. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out. I am thinking it's probably not that if they were to bring it out as available, it might be an online exclusive at some point. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, but I'm going to do a double check I because I can't say for sure whether it's in the catalog. But my guess is no, because I feel like there would have been conversation about that even at onstage while we're all looking at our catalog. So, okay, check out this glimmer paper. Isn't that beautiful? Loving that. And again, these dies are going away, ladies. You can't really see the stitching on that glimmer paper, but you can on here. This, these, oh, makes me so sad. I definitely, I'm, I'm probably keeping these. A lot of times I get rid of everything that's retiring, but I love that set of dies. So those might not go in my BOGO. Might have to keep those. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I think we are ready to put things together. So here we go. We are going to run some adhesive here and here and here and here. I'm going to put this one on the inside of our card. Okay. And then we're going to run some more adhesive on this strip. I'm gonna put one. This one's gonna go on this outside flap. Oops. Okay, so that's kind of the beauty of the seal, right? If you don't press too hard, you can lift it back up and reposition if you need to. Okay. I keep seeing the red. I'm like, oh, I'm getting to the end of this roll. Hopefully not before Facebook Live is over. Although it's not the worst thing to show you guys how to refill that if you need to do that, right? But just so um, you guys, I think you know this about me, right? I love to make simple cards, simple. Um, Vina called them simple but elevated. I'm like, yes. Or was it was it Philomena? One of it was either v Vina or Philomena. Now I'm trying to remember who. But I'm like yes, that is absolutely my style. Simple but elevated. Yes, yes, love that. Okay, so we're going to because I think I mean, you know, truly the like in this case the paper really does so much of the work for you, right? This beautiful designer series paper. So we're just going to run some adhesive. We're going to put that. Maybe, just trying to make sure it's straight, right? Lined up right there. We're gonna peel the backings off of these guys. Gonna add this sentiment. Hope your day is a happy one. Sending flowers and thinking of you. So there's the flower or me. May, maybe you actually send flowers, right? That would be lovely, wouldn't it? And then we're gonna use some of, this is the Garden Green and Real Red. It's a combo ribbon pack. Hello, Miss Susan. And it is retiring also. This has definitely been a go-to ribbon at holiday time because it's usually so easy to work with. My hands are a little bit chilly. I realized I haven't turned the heat up <laughs> today. So I've been running around and so it wasn't a problem. And now that I'm finally kind of standing still, I'm like it's kind of cold in here. And so my hands aren't working quite as well as they normally do. 
because it's a little chilly. All right, we're gonna just add a little mini glue dot and we're gonna pop that right on right there. There we go, card number one. <laughs> Susan, that's cute. Hello, Amy and everyone, love it. <laughs> okay, okay, so there we go. First project is complete, right? Oh, actually it's not. I just picked that up and I'm like, oh yeah, we gotta add some gems, some purple fine shimmer gems that are also carrying over, trying to kind of get to know everything that is sticking around, right? Okay. Let's see if we do, we're going to do one of those right there. Thank you. I'm glad you like this card, Miss Susan. Okay. Do one there and one there, right? And then we got a couple more. Let's do one of these guys. Maybe put this one right there and then another one. If we put maybe down there. Here we go, just adding a little bit of sparkle and bling. You know how I love to do that, right? Ribbon and bling, bling is king, right, Linda? Love that, that's a cute little saying too. <laughs> okay, all right, so card number one is complete. Let me show you what we're gonna do for our second project, okay? All right, so this is the one that I, I guess, spoiler alert, made and sent out to my top five sellers as well. <laughs> She's, that's funny. LOL, yes, you're right, Linda. Okay, so here, fun little project. Again, just a little bit of a fun fold. It's almost, hi, Miss Carla, almost a full card base, right? I think it's like a quarter of an inch short, right? But then it kind of flips in and out right there, and it says, just for you, knowing you brings joy to my heart, okay? So let me tell you about this little baby here too. Let's get this stuff out. Put that and that right there. Actually, those can go there, right? Okay, so this time we are starting with, what is this color? This is Daffodil Delight. So it's almost a full shade of cardstock, like I said. So Daffodil Delight. So we actually cut off, it's only eight and a quarter inches right here. So it started at eight and a half. So we cut just that little quarter of an inch off the kind of side end of our card, right? So then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. And then we also scored it, can I see that underneath there? Um, I have my little notes here too. Yes, so it's scored at one and a half and four inches, okay? So it almost, there you go. Yep, so one and a half and four inches on the eight and one quarter inch side, okay? So it's gonna fold there and then it's gonna fold back there. So loving doing all of these fun folds, right? Then we have our piece of designer series paper. This one right here measures three by five and a quarter inches, okay? And where is that? Oh, I was like, what did I use that for? That little piece goes right there. This one is one by five and a quarter inches. And then I had that little strip and do I, apparently I took that to class. Okay, so this little strip right here along the bottom is four inches wide by three quarter inches tall. Okay, so on this card, we're not going to have that one, it looks like. I'll have to add that on later, but that's okay. Um, all right, and then we've got our basic white, as always, four by five and a quarter inches, okay? So let's do our stamping. Got that one and that one. So we're using pumpkin pie ink. <clears throat> it is beautiful, isn't it, Vina? I know. And it's really, it's just fun and bright and cheerful, honestly. And then if it's too much for you, you can always use the backside. This is the only one that doesn't have flowers. This one has leaves and then the little stripes. All the others have a floral on one side and then kind of a monochromatic um, single color look on the other side. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down and lift straight up on that one. And then same thing, let me make sure I've got this going the right way. And I'm gonna stamp that right there. That's a little crooked, so we're gonna flip that over. As soon as um, I let that down on the paper, I was like, I think that's gonna be a little crooked. That's better, there we go. And because this cardstock, even this is just our regular basic white, um, if you hold it up in the light, you'd be able to see through it, but once you put it on your card, you're not gonna be able to see through there and see that I have incorrect stamping crookedy stamping on the other side there, right? Let me just grab my little chamois again, and I'm gonna just clean this right off. So happy with this little baby, right? Look at that, 
right? So if you get ink on here, you can clean it off. If you get ink on your stamps, you can clean it off. Perfect. Okay, so again, we're gonna do our die cutting. Let's just do that. We've got these two little pieces right here that we are gonna die cut with our, these are the little deckled circles dies. Uh, so let me grab this little baby right here. Okay, you guys can see. So our stamp, just simple, simple, where are the dies right here, okay. All right, so we're using the two smallest. That one kind of got away, but look at how many of these circle dies we have. So we're using the very two smallest dies of, how many dies are in here? 14, we have 14 deckled circle dies. That ought to do it, huh? So we're gonna do that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, there we go. Okay, we need that right there. Oops, that moved. There, put that one right back there. There we go. There we go, ladies. Okay, so is anybody watching basketball? Did you guys see, this was the coolest thing last night. So Oakland University down in Detroit area in Rochester uh, beat Kentucky last night. That was a huge upset. It was, Kentucky was a number three seed and Oakland I think was 14. Um, and first time in the tournament, and they beat Kentucky. So that was a huge, huge, huge upset. First round happens every year. Some team that thinks they're, you know, going to go far. And actually, I picked Kentucky, I think, to go maybe, I don't know, Elite Eight, I think, is how far I had them going. So that did not help my bracket either. <laughs> Oh, funny. Okay, so ah, Linda, yes, that's that's my team too. That's who I'm like picking to win. It's so funny because I feel like there's some pink on here. I don't know where it is. It's funny in my screen I see pink, but then when I look down here, I don't. Sorry, so distracted. But yes, so um, because Michigan was so bad at basketball this year, I had to pick a new team, and I happened to see is is his name Danny Hurley? I just know his last name is Hurley because he's Bobby Hurley's brother from Duke and way back in the day when they beat us um, at Michigan. <laughs> but anyway, so I saw this piece on UConn, and I think his name is Danny Hurley, and I just loved it. And so I thought, um, yeah, that's going to be my team. That's who I'm going to root for um, in the tournament this year is UConn. So how fun. Yes, what are you saying? My guys don't get to go to the games, but watch. Ah, yes, awesome. Love it. Okay, well, yeah, so I actually did pick them to win it all this year, Linda. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so we're. I'm just like chit-chatting away here and putting this card together, which I guess is all right, right? So that goes there. So we did that piece and then that piece right there is what we're working on. Now we are going to actually use our designer series paper. Sorry, I have some like adhesive on there. We're going to use this. Um, what is this called? This is the, well, I guess I can look, the natural um, wavy trim. That's what it is, natural wavy trim, which I think it is retiring, pretty sure. It is. I really like this, though. It's funny because I kept um, going to my whole wall of ribbon, trying to find ribbon that would work with these cards or with this designer series paper. And I, I just it's funny because we don't have a lot of these bright, bold colors right now. Um, and so I was drawn to this natural color because I think it actually works really well on here, too. It doesn't compete with kind of everything that's going on with the designer series paper, but it just kind of adds a nice little accent to it. So I was happy with that. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. We are going to, now the easiest way is to just put adhesive. Okay, we gotta check this out. There's something going on here. Getting to the end and it's like, there we go. No, I think we're good. There, okay. So let's see, do I wanna flip that? Maybe I do. There. Mm, no, 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 I'm trying to decide because kind of like it angled that way better. Okay, so that's going to be all right. Okay, so now we're going to just lay this right on here. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these cards. It's the paper. It's so, the paper, like, I mean, these cards are so simple, right, ladies? But add a little bit of a fun fold, use some beautiful paper, and it's all you need right? And a little bit of bling. All right, I'm going to scoot that up because I don't want it to be like 
eh, maybe I do. Maybe we're going to put that right inside there like that. There. I thought that might be kind of funny, but I think I kind of like it, actually. Yes, very bold, bright colors. Yeah, perfect for spring, summer. Yes, the flowers are so brilliant. Absolutely. Yes, they are, Miss Susan. Okay, so these are the other thing, of course, I learned after the fact um, that these are not available right now. But once they become back in stock, the adhesive back shiny sequins, part of our online exclusives, they come in some bright, fun, beautiful colors that definitely match the designer series paper. We're using them anyway today because I just wanted you guys to see them. So we're going to just add a couple of these little babies. Let's see, we'll put one right inside there and we'll do one more on that one right there. And then I just added a couple over on the side. I kind of like using these yellow ones over here. So we're going to do one there and then we'll do a smaller little yellow one right there. And there we go. Projects are complete, simple, but elevated right here. That's our style here at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. This is what we do. Simple, but elevated. Okay, let me find, where's my other card, right? And do my little recap. Where are we going? Oh, I didn't even give you guys the host code. Oh my goodness gracious. That's okay though, we'll give it to you now. So this is the host code for March. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Oh, always like close, but not quite, right? <laughs> okay, so. If you use this host code, the U6VW7CNN, and order online at stampinup.com, spend at least $50. You're going to get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win my absolute favorite, the Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper, perfect for all your spring projects. And you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the rainbow dots. Lots and lots of goodies as a thank you. I truly appreciate your orders. Um, and thank you guys for being patient with me too because I know I was gone for a while. So super happy to be back. Going to be back next Friday as well. I'm glad you like my style, Linda. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. You guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday, which is actually Good Friday now that I think about that. I'm just, I was thinking, when's Easter? Don't need to say e Happy Easter yet because I'll see you guys next Friday. All right. Thanks everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Oh, Susan, the new catalog. If you're a demonstrator, they're going to be mailing them to you. Like they're probably on their way. Um, new catalog officially for customers goes live on May 1st. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you.